Welcome to the full Etsy guide presented by Printify. So, is Etsy right for you? How do you sign up? How do you create your first product and publish it on your store for everyone to buy? Hi, I'm Martin and welcome to the Printify Etsy guide. In this video, we'll take you through the entire Etsy process and help you understand if Etsy is the right choice for you. Oh, and before we get into it, this video is meant for new and aspiring sellers. This means that beyond showing you how to set up your Etsy store, we'll also go over some basic stuff including what is a sales channel, what categories of sales channels are there, as well as how you can use the print-on-demand model that Printify offers to start selling with less hassle. And of course, we'll take you through the Etsy setup process step by step, so that by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to get your store up and running in order to start selling. On the timeline of this video, you'll find chapters for each of the subjects we're gonna cover. Feel free to navigate through if you already know some topics and subscribe if you'd like to stay in the loop with our latest guides and tutorials. So now onto the good stuff. Is Etsy right for you? First off, what is Etsy? Etsy is an online marketplace when you can buy or sell products. Now, some of you may already know that besides Etsy, there are different places where you can set up your online shop and sell your products. Shopify, eBay, Wix, and the list goes on and on. Those are what we call sales channels. Generally speaking, you can divide all these sales channels into two categories, the standalone store category and the marketplace category. Understanding the main perks of each one will help us showcase why Etsy is so popular and why it might be just the choice for you. Let's get into it. What is a standalone store? In principle, these are stores that have their own dedicated website and their own custom web page address on the internet, aka a URL. Stores like that are usually fully customized when it comes to their looks making them perfect for building a unique brand or selling merch with a specific theme. Some of the most popular sales channels in this category include Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, and more. The pros of this category are that you can have a theme store filled with your own products and a custom URL of your choice. Since you own the site, there are no external distractions and you can fully customize everything to your liking. This is usually good for niche stores and people or brands that already have a large following. That's because having a unique website address means that most likely no one on the internet will know where your store is unless you yourself drive that traffic with paid advertising or other marketing strategies. It also requires more effort, having to customize your store, set up payment gateways, and marketing, which often includes, but is not limited to, managing ads on Facebook and other platforms. Bringing traffic to your website through running ads can seem daunting to new sellers. Too many things to handle and it can burn through your budget if done improperly. So there is an alternative solution. And that brings us to the marketplace category and why it's often a friendlier choice for new sellers. You see, a marketplace is already an existing sales channel where huge amounts of customers are visiting every single day to get their goods. Think of it as a craft fair or local market, with your store being the equivalent of setting up a sales booth. This category includes sales channels such as Etsy and eBay. With Etsy, all you have to do here is create a listing and publish it. It only takes a few minutes and you don't have to deal with setting up any payment gateways since it all goes through Etsy's already established system. Your products will be available for purchase right away and will be accessible to all of that incoming traffic. This means that you can easily test different design ideas to see if they get traction and whether they're worth pursuing. Of course, because it's a marketplace, there's also the factor of competition which means that in order to get sales, you'll need to do some research to stand out and get high SEO rankings amongst other sellers. Want to learn more about SEO? Check out our SEO guide on the top right corner or add it to your watch later playlist and visit it when you're ready. You can see that there are different pros and cons for each. Generally speaking, it all depends on what stage you're in. In the long term, if you're getting a large number of sales, Shopify can make more sense. But generally Etsy is a great place to start and then branch off to a standalone store to have more control. Some merchants even have both. It all depends on your strategy. Now onto our pricing comparison. How much will it cost you to sell on Etsy? Before we get into this chapter, do keep in mind that these prices might change in the future. For the purposes of this video, however, we'll stick with the current pricing options, which should be the same for 2021 through 2022. Now, as with any sales channel, there are some fees when it comes to Etsy. While you can create products on Etsy for free, to publish a listing to the marketplace, currently it costs 20 cents. This means that every time you design a product and want to put it up for sale, you pay 20 cents. After four months, these listings expire and you can renew them by paying another 20 cents for each one. To give you some perspective, having a standalone store on Shopify, for example, will set you back $30 a month just to keep your store running 
And that doesn't include the additional expenses of owning a custom URL address or having other add-ons if you want better customization options. Now, while that makes Etsy seem like a cheaper no-brainer of choice, there's still a catch. Etsy's cheaper to start on, but it adds up in the long run. You see, while Etsy doesn't make you commit to a subscription model and has lower fees in order to get going with sales, in the long term, it can be more expensive. To understand this, let's look at this graph. For each of the sales channels, there are additional fees such as transaction, credit card, and fees per order. As you can see, when you have small amounts of sales, the expenses are much lower on Etsy. However, once you start selling more, there's a point where Shopify becomes cheaper. That means that in the long term, a sales channel like Shopify makes more sense if you build an audience. Of course, there are other factors such as advertising expenses and the production and shipping costs of the products you sell, but it's important to be thorough with this so that you have a better idea of how to calculate your profit margins and when to adjust your strategy for the maximum amount of profit. So speaking of strategy, let's see how you can begin selling with as little risk as possible. Enter Print On Demand. Now that you know Etsy is a more cost-effective platform to get started on, what will you sell? While many know Etsy as a marketplace where you can sell and buy handcrafted items and accessories, their service is much more than that. While still a popular part of Etsy, you no longer need to manually create products and deal with logistics like shipping and inventory management to have a functioning store. Now you can sell unique, custom products without the conventional hassles mentioned earlier. Now how's that possible? Well, this is where the print-on-demand model and Printify come in. The basics of print-on-demand are that you pay for the production and shipping of a product only when a customer buys from you, so you never have to order or store anything in advance. That means no inventory, no upfront fees, no prohibitive investment needed. All you need to worry about is the fun part, AKA coming up with the custom designs to put on your product and selling them. And where does Printify come in? Printify is a print-on-demand platform that connects online sellers like you with a vast network of print providers. That's printing houses whose blank products you can sell. With a single click, you can connect your Etsy store to our platform and automatically have access to more than 400 plus blank products that you can easily customize through our intuitive design tools and sell on your store from anywhere in the world. Now that's a lot of products to go through and a whole lot of design opportunities to tap into. While we won't cover the exact steps of how to find your next best seller in this video, we do offer another guide on how to find a profitable niche to target with custom designs. So check out our how to find your niche for print on demand video to learn all about finding your little slice of earning heaven. Link on the top right corner. Moving to another perk of Printify is that Printify charges a fixed amount, which means that you can set your own prices on Etsy depending on the profit margin you want. Sounds pretty cool, right? But how do you connect it all together? Don't worry friends, we've got your back. So head on to Etsy.com and follow us along as we set up your Etsy store and connect it to Printify. Signing up with Etsy is easy. The first step is to create an Etsy account. You'll use that account to run your shop, but you can also use it to buy from other sellers. At first when you register, it's just a basic consumer account. So in order to start selling, you have to make it into a seller account. So go to the top corner under your account, click Sell on Etsy. You'll be greeted with a new page where you can press Open Your Shop. Complete the standard onboarding steps to set up your shop, which includes selecting a language, country, and your shop currency, as well as a few questions. Later, enter your shop name. This next step requires you to stock your shop. It's important to create at least one product listing in this step. It can be any product, as it's only required to complete the setup steps and acquire shop status. Add a photo, title, and fill the, out the rest of the fields required. Again, you can simply make this listing as an example as it can be deleted later on. Set up how you'd like to get paid, filling out all the necessary details. And as the last step, set up the rest of the billing. Note that the Etsy onboarding flow may contain some additional steps depending on the country you're in. Once you've finished all the sections, click open your shop. Now the shop has been created and all you need to do is to connect it to Printify and start selling. But before we do that, it's also worth mentioning a little bit about Etsy shop policies because those are the disclaimers that your customer reads while browsing your shop. While they're optional to set up, they do play an amazing role in managing expectations, minimizing miscommunication, and building trust with your audience, therefore potentially increasing your sales. The best part is, is that it's much easier to have a policy in place than you think. Check out our article with free policy templates for your store that you can simply copy-paste. 
Link on the top right corner and in the description below. Now that your Etsy store is open, time to connect it with Printify. If you don't have an account already, it's quite fast and easy to get started. Head over to Printify.com and follow along. On the top right, click Sign Up. Enter your email address and password. Answer the following questions and complete the onboarding process. These include designing your first product, adding a store name, adding personal details, and of course connecting your store. You can skip step two and five for now, as we'll cover those separately, but feel free to explore. Now that you have your Printify account set up, time to connect it to your Etsy store and start selling. In your Printify account, go to Manage My Stores and click Connect a Store and select Etsy. Accept the permissions and you're all set. Your Etsy shop has been connected. Now for the fun part. It's time to get creative and upload your designs to one of our many products. Simply head to our catalog and browse to choose a product. For some products, there are multiple print providers to choose from. These differ by location, rating, price, and selection. Simply pick a print provider and click Start Designing to head into our mock-up generator, which is our easy-to-use design tool. Here you can upload your design as an image by clicking on the green button on the right, or simply click and drag your artwork onto the product. Don't have a design yet? No problem. Since you can get one from our integrated Shutterstock image library by going here. To give you even more options, we offer a custom text tool so that you can easily create text-based designs right from the editor. Once you're happy with it, save the product. Before you proceed to publish it, you can edit the product title, description, retail price, and more. The great thing about selling on Etsy is that the correct shipping profiles are assigned to Printify products automatically, which means you won't have to do this manually later on. As the final step, click Publish. Just a note at this point, Etsy charges you those 20 cents mentioned earlier. This is done for each new listing made. However, the great thing is that should you have to, you can easily edit your product on Printify and republish it at no additional cost. You've made your products available to customers. However, to make sure that things are running smoothly so you can kick back, there are a few more key steps. First, it's a good idea to customize your store on Etsy to make it stand out when people are visiting it. This includes adding a shop owner photo, uploading a custom banner for your store, and filling out the About section. This is all for building trust with your customers, which is important to building a brand. Then you can choose to create a free shipping profile on Etsy. This step is optional, however, it allows you to include the shipping price into the price of your product, making it even more appealing. While not necessary, it's highly recommended since it can greatly improve your product's ranking on Etsy. AKA your products tend to rank higher in the search results. Once you've created a free shipping profile in Etsy, simply click Create New Shipping Profile and select that option in Printify when you're creating more products. Next up, check that you've set up payments in Printify. To do that, go to your Printify account. On the top right, click Payments. You can either add a credit debit card or add a balance from PayPal. This will allow you to be able to receive orders and send them to production. The way this works is when an order comes into Printify from Etsy, Printify will automatically charge your link credit card or Printify balance for the production price of the product and the shipping charges. You keep the Etsy payment and the difference will be your profit. Last but not least, you'll be able to manage your incoming orders directly from your Printify account. Here's an example of what happens when an order is placed in your Etsy shop. As you can see, it has automatically been sent to Printify ready for fulfillment. When production is completed, the information will automatically update on Etsy by sending your customer tracking information. Now that concludes the whole process. However, if you'd like to get into even more depth on how to fine tune details such as taxes, VAT charges, and other details, check out our ultimate guide to getting started through the link on the top right corner of this video. Final advice, Etsy's a great platform for anyone looking to sell their custom products. It's one of the best options when starting out and doesn't require large amounts of effort. It's much cheaper than other sales platforms when you're starting out. And you can easily test product ideas without a big commitment. Hopefully you now have a clear understanding of how Etsy works and you can start selling. So was this easy for you? Is there something you'd like us to cover in our next tutorial? Well, why don't you let us know your biggest pain points as an existing or aspiring seller down in the comments below. And lastly, if you found this video helpful, drop us a like and hit that subscribe button. Well, that's all from us at Printify. Happy selling and see you in the next one.